Good morning, good morning. It's another sunny day. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Story time is here. Hooray! Good morning. Good morning everyone and welcome to Storytime. My name is Avi and I'm the children's librarian at the Nelson Public Library. Um, and I'd like to say hello to all my little friends out there. And hello to Rudy and Ollie. And hello to Nora and Rory. To Bowen and Julen and Amber. And Maddie and Sophia and Zach. And hello to Eleanor and Ainara and Coco and Levi and of course to Benji and Felix. And parents, as usual, if you would like to uh, if you would like for me to add your kids' names to this list, send me an email or give me a call here at the library. I will include my email address at the end of the story time. All right. Let's start off as we always do with some bread and butter. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as happy as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as sad as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello! All right, everybody, nicely done. We are going to read a book now. This is such a great book. It's called The Cranky Ballerina. All right, The Cranky Ballerina was written by Elise Gravel, who is from Montreal. Well, she lives in Montreal anyway, and published by Harper Collins. And you can see here on the cover, she's saying, Ballet stinks. And this little, I don't know what that is, a little monstery friend says, it's not her thing. All right, let's find out what happens in this. It's Saturday. Ada wakes up cranky. And you can see her saying, I hate Saturdays. She's waking up hugging her little monstery friend and she's got kitty cat, a kitty cat on the bed too. It's a very messy room. She even has a bicycle in her room. Here, I'll, I'll let you look at that room for another second. There's so much to see in this picture. Poster on the wall of Potato Man, which is apparently a superhero that she loves. There's so much cool stuff in this picture. 
All right, let's keep going or else we'll never get to the good part. She puts on her pink leotard that's way too tight and her big fluffy tutu that's way too itchy. And then she gets in the car and puts on her seatbelt. Here she's saying, car trips make me sick. A lot of friends with her next to her. That's nice. Every Saturday, Ada gets cranky, and that's because on Saturdays, Ada has her ballet class. Here she's saying, I hate ballet, and her little monster friend says, she hates ballet. Miss Pointy makes all of the girls practice their plies, their jetés, and their arabesques, but Ada won't practice hers. And here she's saying, arabesques are grotesque. Miss Pointy calls on Ada, let's see your pirouette. And Ada gets into fourth position and the monster here says, uh-oh. So pirouette is a spin. And boom! Whew. She's spinning, mop, kick, swat, knocking over everybody as she spins through the class. Look at her, she's waving her arms and her legs around in every possible direction as she spins. And that's why she's knocking everyone over. And then you have all these little kids on the floor saying, she stinks, that was awful, ouch. And Ada says, I hate ballet. And her little monstery friend says, she hates ballet. Miss Pointy is trying to be nice. It's okay, Ada, let me show you again. Fourth position, spin, and land. So Ada takes a deep breath, closes her eyes. Go, Ada, says her little monstery friend. And starts pirouetting out the door, into the hall, and blam! Look at that. She slammed right into this guy and knocked over a garbage can. Crash! Blam! Sorry, says Ada. Excuse me, said the man, but do you think you could do that again for my class? Ada looks at the man. He doesn't look like a ballet teacher. He's dressed in some kind of pajamas. I, I guess so, says Ada. Can anybody guess what he does? What kind of teacher he is? Those aren't really pajamas. They're called a gi. And that means that he's a... Well, let's find out. So Ada takes a running start and she jumps and she spins. Kick, swoosh, bang. Whoosh, look at that. Look at how fast she's moving. and lands and everybody's clapping and cheering for her wow awesome where did she come from and ada's wondering what is with these people that said the teacher was great karate ka what karate front kick swat roundhouse kick side punch Whew. turns out what she was doing was actually karate spinning and kicking and hitting this is Mr. Chop's School of Karate. We meet here every Saturday. Would you like to sign up for the class? And what's this spreading across Ada's face? Could it be a smile? Ching. And there she is on Saturdays, happy, the big smile on her face, doing karate. And this is the last page of the book and it's so interesting. You see her and you see this little boy next to her and he's thinking in his head, I hate karate. So it makes me wonder, is he going to end up in the ballet class? And there's Ada and her little monstery friend again at the back of the book. 
The Cranky Ballerina, one of my favorites. Such a nice little book. Um, okay. It is time to wake up our hands. We're gonna do our little song, okay? And as I always say, I'm, I'm gonna do this song sitting down, but if you're at home and you're able to stand up and move around, I think that would be a great idea. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 a clap, 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 a clap, clap, clap. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. Give me a full body wiggle. Now what are we going to do? We're going to wake up our, our head. I wake up my head with a nod, nod, nod. A nod, 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 a nod, nod, nod. I wake up my head with a nod, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. Let's wake up our nose with some beeping. I wake up my nose with a beep, 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 a beep, 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 a beep, beep, beep. I wake up my nose with a beep, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. And now let's do some jumping up and down, okay? We're gonna wake up our feet, uh, or our legs, I mean. Why wake up my legs with a jump, 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 a jump, 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 a jump, jump, jump. I wake up my legs with a jump, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. <clears throat> nice job, everyone. It is time for me to reach into my bag of colorful scarves so we can do a little scarf song. And today's scarf song is gonna be our popcorn scarf song. Let me just find the right scarf. There, that's the one, the green one. And if you don't have a scarf at home, you can use just about anything. A little napkin, a handkerchief, a tiny little baby t-shirt, anything. Okay, here we go. So the, let's first uh, review the movements that we're going to do for this song. So the first movement is waving that scarf back and forth. That's the popcorn in the pot. Oh, sorry, that's the popcorn popcorn. And then we're going to put it in the pot. You pack it right into your hands. And then you shake it, shake it, shake it. Until it pops. All right, well, let's, we'll, we'll do it a couple times. Let's, let's try it out. Popcorn, 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 popcorn in the pot, in the pot. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, till it pops, till it pops. Yay! Should we do it again? I'm going to do it this time with a red scarf. Okay, let's try it again. Popcorn, 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 popcorn in the pot, in the pot. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it till it pops, till it pops. All right, let's do it one more time, and this time I am going to use a blue scarf. Here we go. Everybody ready? Popcorn, 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 popcorn in the pot, in the pot. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Till it pops, till it pops, till it pops. Okay. 
<clears throat> All right, my friends, we are going to end this story time by doing our song. So feel free to grab your instruments or your clapping hands or your singing voices or your ukulele or your egg shaker or your guitars. Any instrument that you want to play along with. Maybe you just want to drum on the on a bucket. Uh, and we're going to sing. We're going to sing We've Got the Whole World. It's my own version of He's Got the Whole World. Uh, and you'll see how it goes. We've got the whole world In our hands we got the whole wide world In our hands we've got the whole world In our hands we've got the whole world in our hands We've got the trees in the forests In our hands we've got the trees in the forests in our hands we've got the trees in the forests In our hands we've got the whole world in our hands We've got the bears and the salmon In our hands we've got the bears and the salmon In our hands we've got the bears and the salmon In our hands we've got the whole world in our hands We've got the whole do for today. Thank you so much for joining me for today's story time and I hope to see you next time. Bye!